Hello everyone, my name is RG and I am the media manager for Safehouse Studios. Today I bring you another development update for our current project, the Foxhall Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Foxhall Conquest. Since this is the very first video development update, I'll try and condense as much information into a quick summary as possible. Some sections might be generalized a little, as to keep this devlog from getting too long. The current status of the mod is... The map has been implemented twice, due to the developers of Hearts of Iron reworking the map. The new map texture has been implemented, however, regions and their terrain type and similar specifications for each individual tile is rough, repetitive and time consuming, so progress is unfortunately quite slow. I will be going into this more after the overview. Another awesome addition to the map is a custom bulwark 3D texture. We hope to be able to represent the bulwark with this texture, but as with everything, implementation is difficult. Regardless, we really hope to make it work and maybe look a bit more varied than what we got going on right now. But only the time will tell on this one. The Colonial National Focus Tree is completed in terms of structure, naming and intended outcome. Implementation has begun and is about two-thirds of the way done. The Warden National Focus Tree is also mostly completed, but somewhat behind the Colonial one in implementation. I have compiled a roadmap of all items we need finished before closed alpha, and then, finally, open alpha. In terms of progress, the yellow section is what we are currently working away at, with the green section being complete or in its finishing stages. When Studio Safehouse took over management and development of the Foxhole Conquest mod, some work had already been carried out. However, it wasn't very structured, and to put it simply, progress was being lost due to a poor work structure. This is super unfortunate, as it's a lot of hard work and effort we lost due to these issues. Because of this, it has been Studio Safehouse lead, Reggae Soros, absolute top priority to streamline, simplify, and generally make the whole process more accessible to everyone involved in order to make the creation of the mod more efficient and especially more coordinated and cohesive. This effort is a nearing completion with only very few niche guides and guidelines needing to be finished up. While the programmers carry the functionality of the mod, as well as implementation of the functionalities we want to see, these changes need to be represented visually. A relatively large amount of custom art and textures has been completed relative to the programming slash implementation team. While I say a large part is completed, much of this is yet to be compiled, uploaded to our shared files, and then distributed to the appropriate devs in order for it to be implemented. However, Progress is progress, and we are here for it. Lastly, I wanted to speak of our largest current issue, volunteer developers. The art team had generally outpaced the implementation team of the work they completed. There are two reasons for this. We had a lot of artists for a while, and that was amazing, but we have relatively few programmers. However, we are now in a situation where we are lacking volunteer help of any kind. The team is relatively balanced at the current moment, but has shrunk in size as some of the staff has moved on to personal projects or simply been happy with their contributions. Therefore, we are looking for people interested in giving a hand with the project. If you have dabbled in art or programming on the side, maybe had a class in school, or just have a chunk of time you don't know what to do with, you are more than welcome to swing by and give a hand. It ain't about how much work you dump on the project. If you give an hour or two every week, that is amazing. We're looking for stable devs, not a quick crunch of 20 hours dumped over two weeks. Although, we probably wouldn't say no to that either right now. I've been RG, and this has been the development update for the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Foxhole Conquest. 